Hello, YouTube. Uh, this is my effort to uh, do uh, verification of the profit estimator in Nighthash Miner version 2. Uh, it, uh, if you plug in your, your uh, graphics card, it'll tell you uh, how much electricity it uses and cost, uh, how much you can expect in terms of uh, income or revenue or, or earnings and then give you a net profitability. So I was a little skeptical so I wanted to actually try to figure out whether how accurate it is. So here's what I did. I have a UPS on my computer system that tells me the, the load in watts uh, for what I'm running and I'll show it to you here. It says I'm running 533, 34 watts so it varies a little bit, uh, and that's for a system with uh, four monitors and two graphics cards, a GTX 960 and a GTX uh, 1070. So what I did is I wanted to run through the scenario. The scenario is being what does it cost for just the graphics card, the GTX 960, 970, and then the two of them when they're run together. And to do that, what I did was I... Uh, uh, turned, uh, turned off all the monitors, uh, shut down all the applications, uh, and then uh, got a base reading from the UPS, 135 watts. Then um, I'd uh, turn the one graphics card on, uh, and it would tell me what the, the uh, total was. 260, subtract the difference, and I get for the GTX 960, 81 watts for just that card. And it is a similar thing for the 1070 and then combined to figure out how many watts they use. And uh, when you're actually running it as a whole system, uh, here's the wattage for those various combinations, uh, uh, all without the mo any of the monitors, though, because when you're running, I figure when you're doing mining, you're not really uh, you uh, got your monitors running, assuming you have a dedicated rig. Uh, mine not dedicated, but uh, for this purposes and because of the uh, Nighthash profit estimator, it's assuming you have a dedicated rig. So uh, I figured out the total wattage being used. Then what I did is I took a um, uh, a uh, power supply monitor that's over here, and I juggled the numbers until I got the right load according to each of the various uh, uh, scenarios I was running it. And it tells you that in this case with a 250 watt load here, uh, it costs $170.67 per year at 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So uh, I took that number for each of the various scenarios back here and I can show you uh, and this one, the 250. Oops, where's my cursor? My 250 uh, watts is there, and if you look up here, you can see that's the number. Oops, uh, where is it? 250 watts. Let's go over here. Uh, oh no, it's not there. 250 watts. Oh, it should be here. There we go, 176, 67, the number from the power supply estimator divided by 365 gives you 80, uh, 40.484 uh, cents, so it's 48 and a fraction cents per day to uh, run that particular system. So, uh, so you can see over here what that shows is that my pointer here. Uh, the individual cards cost 15 and a fraction cents for the GTX 960, 33 and a third cents for the 1070, and 48.4 cents for the combined cards. That's just for the cards. When you add in the system base load, you get uh, oh, 40.9 cents if you're running just the GTX 960, 
58.8 cents if you're running just a 1060, a single 1060. And in my case, where I have one of each running on the system, it's 73.9 cents. That's um, a little bit lower than what I originally guessed uh, based on some really rough calculations. And so this is hopefully more accurate. Now, uh, in my case, my electric costs are not uh, 11.11 uh, 11 cents per kilowatt hour. It's slightly less than that. It's not 10 cents, but it's not 10 and a half. It's like 10 and three quarters. So uh, these are showing a little bit high for me. So I'm not quite sure how much of a difference it makes because the power supply estimator uh, isn't granular enough to let me uh, put in the exact amount of uh, of the cost of my electricity. Also, your electricity costs vary, uh, I don't know if they vary from day to day, but they certainly vary from month to month if you look at your billing statements, okay? So that's where we are. So um, now let's compare that to what the night hash estimator says are the costs. Uh, so you plug in your graphics card, the night hash estimate, profitability estimator, and you can see it says that 960 actually is higher than the one what I got the reading for. It says the 1070 is uh, just a little bit higher than what I actually calculated. Um, then if we look at, uh, I took some uh, general uh, revenues using the night hash monitor daily estimate. In this case, I'm running uh, both systems and it's estimating $2.40 a day in, in earnings. That's not profit, that's earnings. And we look over here, so I got $2.40 per day for the combined system to give me a net profit per day minus electric costs, $1.75. Well, that's not huge, but every day you'd run that for 365 days, you'd end up with uh, um, a, a tidy little sum. All right, uh, then. For, and here are the numbers for the 960. It's 39 cents a day profit. Uh, I don't have um, I don't have a uh, night hash estimate earnings number for just the 1070. Uh, I think um, if I well, I can plug it in here actually. Uh, I vaguely remember that it usually runs about. Uh, $1.65, and we get this number here, we get like $1.25, $1.26. Now I've seen the, uh, the typical revenue numbers, they're all over the place. So I used what I would consider a, a, a typical average. Um, I've seen them lower, uh, in some cases a lot lower. I've seen them also higher, in some cases a lot higher. But these are kind of like the middle of the road. I, don't, I, I use typical in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the label for that row. Um, so I, I think it's a reasonable estimate of what on average you would get if you ran this day after day after day and it would come out by that as the average in amount. So um, I think what that says is that uh, I think the the profit estimator in Nighthash actually underestimates the profit a little bit uh, based on my calculations, which is encouraging. Um, it also, uh, the, uh, I think the total revenue, um, so I was uh, kind of trying to figure out if, if the ninth hash profit estimator actually f calculated the total system cost, the, in other words, your base load for the system without the graphics cards and then adding in the graphics cards or whether it showed just the graphic card estimate. So, um, if we look at the uh, difference here, let's see, just the graphics card was 39 cents and the uh, system with the base load uh, is 58. So I think the estimator uses just the electrical load of the graphics card without calculating the base system that it's running on. So in that sense, 
I think their estimates are a little understated. Um, uh, oh, actually, I should probably put in a row based on my actual costs. So let me stop, create that, and I'll come back. Okay, we're back. I put in a row here, where's my pointer, um, down here that shows uh, the actual profitability. So what I did is I took my typical revenue amount, uh, which I really don't have any way to verify of the accuracy that Nighthash Miner is telling me about that, but we'll assume that that's the case. So I took that, I then used my actual measured uh, cost for electricity, subtract that, and come up with a net profitability. So you can see for the DTX 960, it's 24 cents compared to Nighthatch saying 39 cents. Then for uh, the 1070, it's a dollar six versus a dollar 26 from Nighthatch. And for the combined, my combined system, a dollar 66 uh, compared to a dollar 75 from Nighthatch. So the dollar 66 seems. Uh, um, about right, actually. Uh, so uh, there we go. Those are the numbers. Uh, if you think I've not uh, used the right algorithms for calculating this, <laughs> let me know. I'm, a, I'm not an electrical genius. So uh, uh, I think I used the right tools to figure it out. So assuming the tools are right, particularly the power supply calculator, that's kind of a key because it tells you the cost uh, based on the number of watts you're using. So if that's wrong, then these numbers are not going to be right. But uh, I'm assuming their, their, their numbers are reasonable and they know what they're doing because they are, I would imagine, they have some electrical uh, expertise. Uh, but hopefully that helps um, and gives you a, a little more accurate idea if you're running either of these two types of cards, either singly or in a combined on a system. Uh, what you might actually experience.